What is going on people and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to fit this decap pack onto an Aston Martin Vantage. So as with all of these videos, we're getting straight to the point. We're not pissing about. I'm gonna show you how to do it quick time. So the first thing you're going to want to do is jack your car up and you're gonna be presented with your secondary caps that are situated just off the manifolds. You can see the manifolds coming up the front there and you're gonna have these two flanges. So one flange on that side and another flange on that side. These flanges are both secured with three nuts that are gonna to have to be removed from each side. And then towards the rear, you're gonna have some joints here. You're gonna to have to remove them with one nut, slacken the bracket and slide it back. I'll do that now. So all of these bolts are 13 mil. So you're just gonna need one 13 mil spanner to remove them. Fully remove these and place them off to one side. Once they're off, you can prise these apart and just slide them back onto the pipe work just behind. At this point, I suggest leaving one nut attaching your secondary cats to your primary cats. And now we're gonna go just above this pipe here. So just above this bracket here, there's some hangers and we're gonna slide it back and we're gonna remove this pipe from its hanger. And as you can see there, the two cats have now dropped out of the pipe. So they're separated. We can remove our remaining nuts up at the front and remove the cats. So this is potentially the trickiest stage of the install. And what you're gonna to need to do is, I've got a cat here just to show you. Um, so this is your primary cat attached to your manifold. These bolts here, they are pressed in. So you need to press them out. You don't need to press the top ones out, but you need to press any of the ones that are on the bottom. They're offset on each one. So you need to press them out. You could use a vise, you could use a, a clamp just to put a bit of pressure on and push it out. Now do be careful when you're pressing these out because if you start smacking these with a hammer, there's a good chance you're gonna shatter your cat. And that's an expensive replacement as I've learned. As you can see, I've already pressed mine out here because we've been prototyping this cross pipe. So then in the exhaust kit, you're gonna get two gaskets that look just like this, and you're gonna get a pile of stainless steel nuts and bolts. Just before you do, you wanna put um, a very slight bead of sealant just around here. Um, this, it's not entirely necessary, but this can just hold it on for you while you fit everything up. If you are running sports cats or 200 cell cats, you go for the option that's got the cats in. Um, don't do this because if a bit of sealant comes off, it can block up your cat. And then you're gonna take your gasket and you're gonna place it over your one remaining locator bolt. And then once you've put gaskets on both sides, you can take your crossbar. So that is quite tricky to get in like that. If you are struggling, then press the top ones out as well. And then you can use brand new stainless steel bolts for everything. It's okay to leave the top ones in if you want to use them as locator bolts, but it is very tricky to do that on your own. So then take your new stainless steel nuts and just place it over your existing stud if you did decide to leave it in. And then get your replacement bolts. Make sure the washer is on the bolt side. So now you've got that successfully bolted to the front, you're gonna to need to attach it to the rear now. You need to get some more of this sealant and you're gonna to have to put quite a decent bead of sealant just around the edge of this. So then when, the, the way these work is it's almost like a ball and socket joint. So when you push them together, the sealant's gonna cause that seal. You do this regardless of whether you've gone for the 200 cell cat option or the no cat like I have. Now 
Now you've got your sealant and it's time to put this part of the exhaust back in its hanger and then push it so these parts go inside it. Once they've seated in there, you can get your brackets and just slide them back over the joint again. Take your bolts, what you set aside earlier, and use your new stainless steel nuts. Once those are tight, just give everything a once over. Make sure that there's no obvious issues. You can wipe any of your sealant free. And the next thing to do is to listen to your new glorious soundtrack. It probably sounds a little bit more like Aston Martin intended before the European laws got hold of this car. And you've also lost a considerable amount of weight by removing this. Now it goes without saying that this, was, this job was made a lot easier with a ramp. However, this is a DIY job and you could easily do this on jacks and axle stands. The cross pipe is a little bit more difficult to do than the straight pipes, what you might see. However, the cross pipe is gonna give a much throatier and a bit better sound, in my opinion. So if you have enjoyed the video, then please do subscribe, comment down below on what you thought and what you think of the cross pipe. And I am just testing this cross pipe for the moment, and if it is good, I'll be sure to drop the link down below where you can get this exact cross pipe for your vehicle. Other than that guys, I'll catch you in the next video.